Good morning, year three. Um, today, instead of tally charts, we're looking at blocks charts. So let's get going. So, what is a block chart? The children in Donaldson class were asked a question. What is your favorite wild animal? First, a tally chart was used to record results as we saw about yesterday. See the tallies going in from the children. And in the tally chart, every fifth mark is recorded as a gate, and each gate counts as five. How many children voted for tiger? Let's count. Five, six, seven, eight. How many children voted for penguin? Five, ten, plus one, eleven. Okay, good revision from yesterday. Easy to read the information in the tally chart. And to do that, remember we have another column which can be frequency. Tally charts are useful, but there are other ways to show information which is more clear and easy to read. A block chart shows it as a picture. So we have the numbers up the side, we have the categories or animals along the bottom, and then each bo uh, block counts for one vote and you can color them in. And then we can see very easily which is the favourite and which is the least favourite animal. Let's read the information from another block chart. What's your favourite colour? Here are the results. The number of blocks each um, above each colour tell us how many the children choose. So we can see that five children, we can look across to the five or we can count one, two, three, four, five, chose red, eight chose blue, how many children chose green? Let's look. Here we can see it's three. And how many chose yellow? Go up and look across. Ten. So, children in Devonport class were asked the question, what's your favourite milkshake flavour? They recorded the uh, results and in a tally chart first and then drew a block chart. How many children chose chocolate? Seven. How many children chose strawberry? Let's look up. And across. Eight. Which flavour did four children choose? So we know that uh, chocolate, people chose seven. Uh, seven ch children chose. Strawberry, eight ch children chose. Look at banana, only three people chose banana, so it must be vanilla. So let's take a look at how to build a block chart using the information on table. The days of the week, what, what's on this side, the categories always go along the bottom as what we know is the X axis. The categories always go along the bottom and the numbers always go up the side okay then we can color the each box from each category so the day is monday number of cars sold was seven so we color in seven squares same with tuesday four cars were sold we color in four squares guess how many squares are colored on wednesday i hope you told me set 12 thursday three friday six We always need a title. So on this one, the title is number of sunny days each month. We've got the months along the bottom. There are five months here and we've got the number of days. Now, there are more than 12 days in January, but not more than 12 days were sunny. Therefore, we only have to go up to 12. You don't need to go all the way up. Oh, click on the chart to color it in. So January, we know that one day was sunny. February 2, so one, two. March 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Very simple. April 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. May 10. And we know that it's getting, we can see that it's getting sunnier as the months go on. And we know that May is a more sunny month than January. So it makes sense. 
how many sunny days were in February. So we've lost the chart, but we can look here and we can know that it's two. How many Sundays in May? 10. Which month has six sunny days? Look across from six, I can see it was April. Very easy to use the information once it's in a chart. Which month had five sunny days? I can look at five, look across, March. The children in Dobinson class were asked the question, what's your favorite ice cream topping? Here is the block chart. We've got a title. Which topping was most popular? I look at the highest one. 12, cookie dough. Love cookie dough. Least popular. You can look, only one child chose banana. The healthiest topping though. How many children chose the chocolate sauce? More children chose the chocolate sauce than the syrup. So the chocolate sauce, I can see 10. The syrup, I can see was three. Now the difference between three and 10, I know as seven. So I know seven ch more children chose it. Here we can see we did a, a subtraction to get the answer. How many fewer children chose banana than cookie dough? Well, I know that 12 chose cookie dough, one chose banana. The difference between these two numbers or 12 take away one would be 11. Another class was asked about their favorite type of day out. Which type of day out did most children choose? We can just look the colors, this one's the highest. I don't even have to know the number. I can just know that cinema was the most popular. And who doesn't love a trip to the cinema? Which do fewest children choose? I can see that the lowest one is this one. I don't have to know the number, but I know that the pool was the least popular. How many more children chose the cinema than the park? Well, now I do need to look at the numbers. So the cinema, I can see 12 children chose the cinema. The park, I can see nine people chose the park. So I know 12 take away nine, or the difference between 12 and nine is three. You can also use the block chart to find totals. This would be adding some together. So how many children chose the beach or the park? So we must look at the beach, which is six, and the park, which is um, nine. We know six plus nine equals 15. So 15 children chose the um, park or the beach. You can see that the, the columns we were looking at have been highlighted there. Cinema or the pool? Well, we know 12 children chose the cinema. Five children chose the pool. So 12 plus five would be 17. How many children were asked all together? We'd have to add them all up. 12 plus six plus eight plus nine plus five. 40 children all together. This, I'm, I'm not going to look at the last slide. This is for you to give it a go. Pause it, have a go, and let's see if you get it right. I'm now going to go through the answers. How many seeds grew into flowers in pots two and four? So pot two, six, pot four, three. So that answer is nine. How many seeds grew into flowers in pot three and five? Pot three was nine, pot five was nine. They had the same number, and we know nine to uh, doubled. Nine plus nine is 18. How many seeds grew in flowers all together? So I need two plus six, which is eight, plus nine, which is 17, plus three, which is 20, plus nine, 29. Let's see if my mental maths was good there. Brilliant. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I'm looking forward to tomorrow's.